Verionox. Verior means I revere, I fear. Nox means night and can signify darkness, death. Then you may think that the translation is quite obvious. Do not take it for granted that Latin is that simple. There are only two grammatically correct ways to understand this quote considering the way it was uttered. The verb reveals the hidden subject, ego, as it is in the first person singular. Here, verior must be intransitive, demanding no objects at all, because if nox were the object of verior, it should be either nocten or noctis. For such a verb demands its objects to be in the accusative or in the genitive cases. In Latin, nouns, pronouns and adjectives must be inflected according to whether they are subjects, objects, etc. of a sentence. In that hypothetical case, we would have verior noctem or noctis, which would mean I fear the night. However, the maiden Rhea utters Maria Nox. Nox then must be either the positive of the hidden subject ego, verior ego nox, afraid am I the night, or an adverb denoting the time in which Rhea gets afraid, I am afraid at night. The latter makes more sense, Lorewise. The problem is the capital N, which indicates a noun and not an adverb. In ancient Rome, there was no capitalization notion. In our eyes, it would seem the Romans wrote everything in capital letters. Nowadays, we capitalize the first word of a sentence, names, proper nouns, etc., and the rest in lowercase letters. Let's ponder the context. Rhea failed at her mission. She is all alone, losing her humanity little by little. Her demise is at hand. She can sense the darkness growing within her. She can sense she is losing her sanity and going hollow. That perhaps could explain the poetic Afraid am I the night, as she is afraid of what she is becoming. Positive plus hidden subject though uncommon is possible in Latin, mainly in poetry. Rhea is highborn after all. The age of fire is at an end, the fire is about fate. The darkness grows bigger everywhere. The light of Rhea's hope is no more. She finds herself at the night of her days, and for that she is afraid. The law Masavati interprets Verior Nox as a mantra, intended to reinforce the way of white fear of the age of dark and the humanity within themselves. It ties them to the fate of the gods and remains the status quo. Rhea and the church fear the darkness in the same way wind would. That is to say, they fear the coming age of dark, an age of man. If the developers wanted her to say, I fear the night, they made a great grammatical error and were lucky enough to come up with a sentence that still respects the grammar rules. I fear that this may be the case here, considering how uncommon the phrase construction is and how fitting Vati's words are. Anyway, the sentence Verior Nox happens to be grammatically possible, as I have demonstrated. What about the maiden's name? Since Rhea is a variation of Rhea, it could refer to the Titaness, mother of the main Greek gods. I don't think so. Or Rhea Silvia, mother of the founders of Rome. Unlikely. Or the fabled priestess once loved by Hercules. She bore him a son named Aventinus. Interesting. Or simply refer to an old Italian Greek name with no connotations. My prayers did them no good. It is my ignorance, my frailty that has sealed their fates. Perhaps Petrus realized my weakness all along and thus made the decision to abandon me. I can hardly blame him now. What about her god's names? Vince is derived from the Latin verb vincere, which means conquer, be successful, overcome, win, etc. Ironically, he loses everything. Nico, a name of a famous pirate of old. It can also be the verb nicere, beckon, in the first person singular, in the simple present. Misfortune beckons for him. Petrus is the masculine form of the Latin noun Petra, rock, stone. Peter in English, Pietro in Italian, Pedro in Portuguese are but variants of the same name. 
People who receive such names are said to be as resilient as a rock. What about the pyromancy trainer's name? Laurentius, a Latin adjective. Laurentian. He came from the Great Swamp, and there is actually a place in Canada called Laurentian Wetlands. Laurentius is derived from the Latin noun Laurus, laurel tree, sacred to Apollo, god of the sun. Don't mistake Apollo for the sun god Helios. Equipment now. Leo ring. Leo means lion. And that's why there's a lion engraved on the ring. And the reason Orstein's helm slightly resembles a lion's head. Paladin Leroy Shield Sanctus. It means sacred, holy. It can also mean scent. The shield was once blessed, after all. Some shields have caduceus in their names. It refers to the staff carried by the messenger of the gods, Mercury, Hermes. It is associated with many sciences, including medicine. Here it most likely represents the serpents, cramped and carved. Gestus, a gauntlet worn by gladiators and pugilists. Its name comes from the verb cedere, which means strike mortally, destroy, etc. Estus flask, the first word is the Latin noun estus, which means heat and also agitation, agitation of fire, of liquids and even of the soul. It makes sense here. The player's soul never rests, the bonfires bind you, the stirred liquid their heat produces heals your wounds, but is a reminder of the undead curse, this agitation of the soul that may never be quenched. Needless to explain the meaning of asylum, it's a place of refuge. Enemies now, Taurus demon, quite obvious, Taurus means bull, Capra demon, Capra means she goat in Latin, a he goat would be Caper. Does that mean this demon is female? Food for thought, Phalanx of Greek origin, actually. It refers to a compact body of armed men in battle array. That's why those guys are so organized. Manus means hand. That explains the size of his left hand. It can signify force, violence. Manus, father of the abyss, is very violent. He destroyed Olysil and defeated Artorius. The composers of this game already confirmed on Twitter all the lyrics are not in Latin and mean nothing, just like in other Dark Souls games. If you wish to see me breaking down Latin in some song, check out this video in which I break down the only Latin song found in Elden Ring so far. Those Elden Ring boss songs are not in Latin and don't have meaning. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Should I break down all Latin words and passages in the Souls games? Please leave your like, ring the bell, subscribe, share this video and check out my other Souls videos in my pinned comment below. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Farewell,